Kahalal, Kabadwa, Kapa'arat, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Shalawam to the house of David, double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone, and salutations to your brothers on the four corners of the earth, pushing the truth in righteousness and sincerity. Okay, basically, you know, today I just wanted to do this video on, um, you know, lack of faith. You know, like lack of faith will get you killed. Okay, in the times you're coming into. All right. Because, hey, man, the times we're coming into, man, faith faith is going to be the only the only valuable thing, like, in that day, man. Because the scriptures say uh, money profit of little in the day of wrath, you know. Faith is going to be the only valuable thing, you know, because, you, and, and, and faith is faith is not something that you can, you can steal from somebody or you can buy. It's either you have it or you don't, you know. And if you don't in that day, it's over, you know, that's it. Because you got to keep in mind, man, that all the hell and calamity that's coming is the most high bringing it. You know, your howl by show me all shot. All right. And now, if you don't, if you don't, if you don't have faith in it, man, it's over for you. Okay. You know, because, you know, faith, faith is a very, very key, important and powerful thing, man. All right. Faith is more powerful than you think, man. Faith is like, yo, like thinking back to King David, man, the circumstances he was in, man. You know, if a, a carnal man would have been dead, you know, because at the time when Goliath came there, the, Goliath had the whole the whole army shook, you know. But what David rolled up in there, a shepherd. He just rolled up, he rolled up in there with a with a, a slingshot and some stones out here facing this giant. Now, if if you look at it carnally, man, Goliath should have won, right? You know, because he was a giant, he was prepared, he has experience in war. David is a shepherd, you know, and he just pulls up thing about it too is because of his faith now check this because of his faith he didn't even fear you know he had no fear whatsoever he just rolled up in there like yo 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 wh wh why what what the fuck is going on here man like yo how 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 you have a a, a hamite having y'all shook man y'all supposed to be the man of the lord man all right we israelites man we have faith in the how about shem y'all shy man and that's what david had man he had faith in the how about shem y'all shy and guess what you know, that's what that's what uh, 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 allowed him to overcome Goliath, man. All right, because hey, hey, man, if it wasn't for that faith, now you think if David went in there thinking, yo, you know what, this guy is big, but you know, I don't think I could, I, I don't think I could take him, but I'm gonna just try my best, you know. And if I feel, I could do this. But right then and there, that's that's a lack of faith. Okay, the minute you put that thought of of of, of I'm not sure or I know I can't do this, but I'm a no 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 no. That's that's a lack of faith. David didn't have that. He wrote up in the like, I'm gonna take this nigga out. You know? You know, and then the Lord was with him. You know, the Lord was like, yes, yes, that's what's up. You know? Yeah, that's what I like to see. And so that's why when he when he yo, he and and hey man, the Lord had it to where Goliath took off the helmet. You know, he had just had to be a cocky little, you know, and, and that stone went right there, man. It went right through. Okay, because David had faith, man. Now, if David went and like you know, like I said before, if David was like, "Yo, I'm not I'm not sure, man. He's type big, you know what I mean? Like, yo, look at me, bro. Look at him, like, yo, this is not really looking right." Hey, it, he would probably become, he would have probably been overcome. Okay, but because of that faith, he he wasn't, you know. And that's why that's why you, in this in this thing of ours, man, this 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 truth, and in everything you do, you can't have lack of faith, man. You can't don't don't put that thought in your mind. It don't matter if this is the first time you're doing something. Don't put the thought in your mind of yo, I'm not sure, but I'm a tr no no because the minute you put that thought, Satan jumps in there. You know, Satan jumps in there and he just he just straight away, you know he. he he uses that against you. He sits on that and and builds on that. You know, uh, this is um. Get the scripture real quick. This is Second Corinthians, chapter five, verse seven. Okay, it says uh, it says, for we walk by faith, not by sight. All right, we walk by faith, not by sight. Because now, if you if David was walking by sight, you 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 would probably you probably not even have, have gone up against Goliath. But he went by faith, and he saw that in, uh, in the spirit he saw in the spiritually he was gonna overcome him, you know. And that's why we also gotta walk by faith and not by sight. Because guess what, man? Uh, uh, the scripture says what uh, the heart, meaning your mind, is deceitful above all things. Now, if you walk in by sight, you know you are gonna go off what your mind is telling you. You know, because if, 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 if let's say you're on a, on a rooftop, 
right? All hell breaking loose, you on a rooftop, you run, you're being chased by all these troops, you're on a rooftop, and then all of a sudden, they, they, they all on the roof surrounding you with guns at you, right? And now, you going based off what you see, you just, you just, you, you seeing guns and all that stuff, and then you like, yo, 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 shit, shit. Then you just, you just, oh, you surrender, because you're going off of sight. Now, if you were going off of faith, you could be like, you know what, I don't care how many guns y'all got, I don't care what y'all, what, what, what circumstance I'm in, you know what, the Lord's going to deliver me. Hey, right then and there, the Lord can have it to where you face through the, through the roof, and you know, end up, end up on the, on the, on the lower floor and just dip, you know? Because one, one thing about faith also is, man, don't, don't, don't think about it, do it, you know? When, when, dude, when dealing with faith, man, don't think about it, do it, because, you know, the, the instance with Peter, when the house shy told Peter to, to walk, to walk, you know, uh, to, to come to him on the ocean, man, you know, he started doing it, he started walking, he was doing it, then he started thinking about it, you know, and that's when he started to sink, okay, so when, 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 when dealing with faith, man, just, just do it, okay, just have faith, don't worry about how, like, when, in, in those, in those days, man, you can't be worrying about, oh, how is this gonna happen, man, I know the Lord says he's gonna do it, but like, how, man, because the Lord said, his ways are not always, his thoughts are not our thoughts, Okay, and so if you if you're out here thinking like, yo, there's no possible way, like, yo, how's the Lord? No, 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 just, just don't even worry about that. Worry about the Lord is gonna do it. I have faith. No matter what happens to me, it's His will, you know. And I trust in the Lord. Okay, that's what faith is about, you know. And um, you know, let me get this scripture real quick too. Uh, this is um, it's lucky because at because at this point in time, man, faith faith is is something that's not. It's, it's like it's is it, at its lowest point on the earth, man. Because hey, the the you know the, the heathens now you know so they never had faith, but now they just they just they just chilling, thinking that they the shit now, you know. Because at one point they used to refer to the Lord as Allah Shadi, a demon like power, you know. But now since since the Lord put his name in Israel, and now Israel being fucked up and shit, they they don't they don't you know they don't think of it like that. They don't think of the Lord like that. They don't got the fear of the Lord. You know, and and especially Israel, the ones who's supposed to have faith in them, they all messed up. They don't. They our people, the majority of people who are atheists, Muslim, uh, 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 whatever other uh, doctrines, false religions, and all that stuff. They in our people are the most into that stuff, man. Our people are the most faithless. You know, you and and the funny thing is about it, man. They don't have faith in anything else except Yahweh by Hashem Shai. You know. And, and, and hey man, that's why the scripture says this. This is um this is Luke chapter 18 verse 8. It says, I tell you that he will avenge them speedily. Nevertheless, when the Son of Man cometh, shall he find faith on earth? Shall he find faith on earth? Because hey, that, that that's the point it's come to, man. You know, where you you, 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 you even talk about the scriptures, people get mad at you. You know? Cause they don't have faith in there at all, man. They're just like, man, the Bible contradicts itself, or I believe some of it, I don't believe all of it. Like, what, what? That, that man, that's, there's no faith in that, you know. We believe in how about Shemuel Shai, okay? In this lifetime, we've not seen him, okay? We've not seen him how shy, okay? But we believe in him, okay? That's what you call having faith. Now, you, you, you can't, you can't be like these people in the world who just go off of uh, seeing is believing, man, okay? That's faithless, okay? Seeing is believing, that's faithless, and that and that will get you killed. Okay? That, that will get you killed, man. If you got that mindset of seeing is believing, that's gonna get you killed. Alright? Now, uh, this is a uh, get this other scripture real quick, because the scriptures also say wisdom, knowledge, and stability, uh wisdom and knowledge it's like, let me just get the scripture, you know. But basically, uh roughly paraphrasing paraphrasing that knowledge, you know, uh Isaiah 33 and 6, it says and wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. All right. Now here's the thing, though. How you how you gonna get that wisdom and knowledge if you don't got the faith? You know, because you gotta have faith to believe in these scriptures, and 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 that's how you gonna get the wisdom and knowledge and understanding by by understanding the uh, by believing in these scriptures. You know, because your house shy has to be supping with you. Now, if you don't have faith in your house shy, you don't believe in your house shy. He ain't gonna be supping with you. Therefore, you ain't gonna get to understand the scriptures. Therefore, you're not gonna be stable in the last days. You know, faith is like that key. You know, like you not getting into any room without that key, man. Okay, because in order to get to the next room, you gotta go through this room. In order to get to this room, you need the key of faith. You know, and that that's why faith is so important, man. Faith is really and. And it's, it's really a, a relief to have faith because 
you know, people, people, you know, they, 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 they're like, yo, all this hell's about to break loose. Yo, let me stock up on this. Let me stock up on that. Let me do this, this, and that. Stressing themselves, you know. But here's the thing about that: we don't gotta do that. We don't worry about stacking up and 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 buying canned foods and flashlights and water and all that. We don't worry about that, you know. And so that's that's relief because we know that in those days we don't have to we don't have to do any of that stuff. The Lord's gonna take care of us, okay. And that's the relief of faith. You just gotta believe. That's it. You know, you don't got to carry a big ass backpack full of food in it, you know, or, 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 or a survival kit or something like that when all hell breaks loose. Because guess what? How how about when you, you stock all that food up and you can't even get to it in the last days? You know, that they, but, but you're going to be stressed. You're going to be like, damn, I wasted my whole uh, savings on this. I can't even get to it. You know, you're going to be stressed. But guess what? We're not going to have that stress because no matter what situation we put in, we're going to have faith that the Lord's going to get us out of it. You know, that's it. Just you leave it in, in the hands of your how about show me how shy. You, it, it's, it's a relief. You know, it's, it really is. It, that, that's what it is. It's a relief. Okay. Because the Lord, the, hey man, the times we're coming into, if you don't have this faith, you're going to be stressed. You're going to be bugged out. And, 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 hey man, the scriptures say men's heart, men's heart shall fill them for fear. You only have people dropping dead of heart attacks, you know, and, and, and they, they just going to be, they're going to be bugged out, man. Because they, they ain't going to understand anything. And you know, that's one of the things, that's one of the biggest fears, you know, um, um, not knowing, you know, that's one of the biggest fears, man. That's why people, a lot of people fear death because they don't understand it, you know, they don't know it. That's why a lot of, yeah, it's a lot of, uh, my phone cut off real quick, but you know, like I was saying, man, a lot of people, man, they fear, they fear what they don't know, you know, and that's why a lot of people are going to be bugging out in these last days because they don't have faith, man. And that goes for people who, people who say they ain't this truth too, man. You know, if you don't have that faith, man, it's over for you, man. You got people who, who y'all know what's coming, man, but some of y'all are still going to bug out, man. So how much more for people in the world, you know, especially these women out here, man, because they're like the, they're the most faithless creatures out here, man. They're going to be, they're going to be com completely messed up, man. All right. And we telling them now, you know, because we see what's coming. We tell them what's coming, man. We tell all y'all what's coming. Y'all talking about, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Why are you always saying that, you know? Oh, oh why you always got to say something? Like, I don't want to hear that. Be quiet. You know, you're lying. You're bums. Get a job. This, this, and that, right? You know? Or we tell you what's going to come. Oh, oh, if it, if it happens, this is what I'll do. I'll do this. I'll do that. No, you won't. Okay? Because, listen, a lot of, a lot of people, man, you don't know what you would do because you're not in that situation or you've never been in that situation before okay a lot of these people ain't never starved in their life before so when it happens they talk about oh when it happens i'm gonna do this i'm gonna go do this i'm you're not gonna do that okay because you're only gonna do what the lord has in store for you what the lord has planned for you that's what you're gonna do there's no i'm gonna do this i'm gonna do that okay and it's not if it happens it's when it happens this is what you're gonna do okay that's if you if you can muster up strength to do that because of because of how much how much fear a lot of people are gonna be in, you know, and that's that the, the, that's in um Isaiah. Let me get that real quick, you know, because a lot of people, man, they they're cocky and they're prideful, man. They think they know it all, you know. Oh, I, I, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that, you know. It don't matter what God or or, or or whatever happens happens, you know. That's their mindset now because they're comfortable, you know. And like I said, man, you you do, you if you've never been in a situation, man, you don't know what it's gonna be like. You know, so these people, man, they keep saying, oh, uh, if it happens, it happens, you know? Oh, well, you don't know what you're saying, man. You don't know what you're saying, okay? You're tempting the Lord, man, and the Lord, the Lord is going to, yeah, he's going to bring it, all right? He's going to bring it, man, okay? This is Isaiah chapter 13, verse 7, all right? It says, therefore shall all hands be faint, and every man's heart shall melt. Okay, so where do you where do you get that whole oh I'ma do this or I'ma do that? You know, it's for example like you watching you know you watching a movie and then um uh, this a, a certain scene happens and then you know uh, 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 the, the, the the people watching be like oh why is she not doing this oh she should have done that oh he should have done this listen man you're not in that situation okay and and you <laughs> that whole I'ma do I'ma do I'ma do this. no 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 the scripture says all hands shall be faint. And every every man's heart shall melt, okay. So that whole uh, 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 super super woman and shit like that is going right out the window. That feminist BS don't it's not going to exist, okay. It's not going to exist, all right. You know, and 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 it all goes back to faith, man. Okay, the only people who are going who are going to be able to stand firm and and and, and survive these last days are the faithful, all right. The elect ultimately, 
you know, and the, and, the, and the ones that the Lord had mercy on, man, okay, because faith ultimately is also a gift from the, from, from the Heavenly Father, you know, he has to give you that gift of faith, now if he decides not to, well then, well, I'm sorry for you, but you ain't, you ain't gonna make it, you know, this is um, Jeremiah chapter 30 verse 6, okay, it said, because you know, a lot of these guys, man, they, they think they're so tough, you know, they think things, things are of their own might, you know, like they, they control their own faith, they control their own will, you know, talking about, yo, I don't need that faith, man. I don't need no most high to do nothing for me. I'm the one who puts the bread on my table. I'm the one who goes and works my ass off. You fucking dumbass. Who gave you that job? Who who wakes you up in the morning? You know, who keeps you from not dying on your way to work? Oh, oh, but they don't think of that, right? This is Jeremiah 30 and 6. It says, ask ye now and see whether a man doth travail with child. Okay, so why is the scripture saying that? All right, because I'm going on, it says, uh, wherefore do I see every man with his hands on his loins as a woman in travail? Okay, that so when all y'all talking about, I don't need no most high or I don't need the faith or none of that stuff, man. This is what's gonna be happening to you, man. The men, this is it says the men, all right, they're gonna be like women who are going through labor pains and all that, man, you know. So, so now, now, how much more for the women, all right, going on, it says, um, and all faces shall be shall. All faces are turned into paleness. Okay. Yeah, Salaki once again, man. These demons, they keep trying to mess with my phone, man. You know, keep getting all these phone calls. But, you know, through the spirit, I'm going to edit the videos, put them put them together, you know. But like I was saying, man, it, it says, the scripture says, uh, um, you know, all faces are be turned into paleness, man. So no, nobody's going to be out there talking about, yo, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm the shit, man. I'm this, that, that, man. With all that hell's breaking loose, man, there's, there's not going to be no, no, none of that stuff, man. Okay, and you know, like the brothers, the brothers, uh, uh, uh you know, had had did a, uh, uh, you know, video put on the channel, you know, about the warning about the times we coming into, man. Okay, at the times we coming into, your only, your only security, your only safety is your how about Shem Yal Shai and your faith in your how about Shem Yal Shai. You know, he's the one bringing it. Okay, and if you if you go with him, he got you. You know, if you're not, well, damn, well, it's over. You know, that's it. It's over. Okay, and the time is coming. It's coming close, man. Like the brother was saying, you know, people think that it is, is, is going further and further, but no, it's actually coming closer and closer. But it's the spirit of the Lord blinding them, making them think that it's going further and further, and it's, it's, it's waking up the elect. You know, the Lord's at the same time is waking up his elect. You know, because because the thing because what it is is that uh, in order for that scripture it talks about uh, in, in Thessalonians. Let me get that real quick. You know, where it says sudden destruction to come uh so, so come upon them. It's like it. Um yeah, it's uh first Thessalonians chapter five verse three it says, For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction come up upon them. Alright? Now guess what? All this all this calamities that is coming, man, we can see it. And soon it's getting to the point where it's becoming so obvious that even if you're not in this truth, you're gonna see that something big is about to happen. But guess what? We still got people who are blinded to that because the Lord has to blind them so they won't see it. So that this scripture can 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 come when they was they will say peace and safety and sudden destruction will come upon them. You know, they won't see the lions surrounding them. You know, until until the Lord lifts that blindfold off and they see they in the midst of the Sahara Desert with with 15 hungry lions surrounding them, drooling, ready to chew on that on that ass. You know. That, that that's that's what the Lord is doing. But for us, man, we yeah, he's he, he's breaking us, he's breaking up the elect, you know, preparing us, man. He's like, yo, cause the times we're coming into, man. Hey, the why they how about show me shy for waking us up, man? Okay, because you're gonna be messed up 100, percent especially not knowing, you know. You thinking, boom, this just happened. Oh shoot, what, you you trying to figure out what's going on? There's something else that's happening. There's not gonna be no escape, you know, no escape. All right. And and the scriptures talk about that. Let me get that uh, real quick. This is um, you know, in the book of Esdras, second Esdras chapter sixteen verse twenty two. It says, "For many of them that dwell upon the earth shall perish of famine." Okay. Now now no dying of, of of hunger, man. That's not an easy thing. You know, people don't understand what that really means, man. If, you, if you're gonna be driven to the point of wanting to eat yourself, wanting to eat other humans, man. You know, that's no joke. You know, you hungry and you can't do anything about it. That's no joke, man. It says, and the other, and and the other that escaped the hunger, right? So you think that, oh, whoa, I'm gonna get the chip. I'm gonna go to the uh, concentration camps, right? And I'm, I'm gonna get some food to eat. So I, the, the, oh, I'm gonna stock up on food. You know, the, the the famine ain't gonna affect me. Shall the sword destroy? The scripture says. 
You know, the 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 the, uh, uh, the, the source the source I destroyed them, man. So there's not gonna be no escape. The scriptures also talk about how uh, as I saw a man met a bear. You know, a uh, uh, slack uh, uh, a man uh, uh, flee from a lion and a bear met him. You know, so you think you're escaping this? You turn around, another one's right there, man. And he he ran to the house, put his hand on the wall, and the snake bit him. You know, there's no escape, man. Okay, uh, uh, verse 23 it says, and the dead shall be cast out as dung. Okay, and, and and you know that that's gonna be serious, man. To this point where you, you know right now, you know how Jake like to go hard, mourn, cry, cry their eyes out whenever somebody dies, man. It's gonna get so bad that you ain't even gonna want it. You ain't gonna be thinking about that. You know, your mom gonna die right there. You are gonna be out. You trying to survive, man? That's how bad it's gonna get. You know, it says, and there shall be no more. There shall be no. It's like, and there shall be no man to comfort them, for the earth shall be wasted and the city shall be cast down. Okay, that's what's gonna be happening, man. Ain't nobody be on, gonna be comforting you out here, man. You, yo, man, you gonna be seeing people sit, uh, uh, people who completely lost hope. You know, a lot of these Christians, they gonna be bugging out. You know, because because when that time comes, man, they they don't have the faith. They don't even know what's coming. You know, they they hearing God loves you, sweet Jesus, and all that, drunk on that Jesus juice, man. They gonna be bugged out. They gonna be they gonna be dropping down on their knees, crying and shit, hoping somebody gonna come to them. The scripture says what? There shall be no man, uh, uh. There shall be no man to comfort them. You ain't getting no comfort, man. All right? If you don't have the faith, because the faith is going to be the comforter, man. All right? Because, because hey, man, if you don't have that faith, man, there ain't no, nobody going to be comforting you in that day, man. It's just straight destruction after the next, after the next, after the next. All right? That's the death that's coming, man. That's the death and destruction that the Lord is bringing. You know? How about Shem Shai is bringing, man? The power of all, man. He's angry, and he's going to appease his wrath. Think of how bad it's going to get for his wrath to be appeased, man. You know, with how long suffering he is, think of how how bad it's gonna get. You know them them dudes that be laid back when they snap, man. They they the, they the ones who snap the, the the craziest. You know, and the Lord, man, he been he been he been laid back for 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 generations. You know, since the earth was created, since all that wickedness, man. And he's about to snap. Okay, so hey, man, you better get your faith up. You know, yeah, uh, 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 for for you out there who ain't, who are in this 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 wickedness, man. Y'all better repent and seek the Lord, man. All right, because the times that are coming ain't no joke. Okay, the Lord ain't playing. All right, and if you don't have the faith, you ain't gonna make it, man. Lack of faith is gonna get you killed. All right, but with that, I wanna say, call all your about show me y'all shy, and keep doing the works. So I can we almost out of here, man. The Lord's bringing that death and destruction to this place, man. All right, every day wake up in this place, we wanna get out of here, man. All right, but with that, shalom.